Opinion polls in Ukraine show that support for talks with Russia has grown since the failed counter-offensive last year, though most Ukrainians still say they want to continue fighting to retake all Russian-occupied lands. However, as the Wall Street Journal reports, one key constituency remains negative about any deal with Russia, the military. According to one recent poll, only 18% of veterans and active duty service members believe Ukraine should seek a negotiated end to the war, the lowest of any demographic group surveyed. 15% of soldiers and veterans say they would join an armed protest if Kyiv signed a peace deal they disagreed with. The publication writes, the commander of the 3rd Assault Brigade, Andrei Biletsky, noted that although war fatigue is building up in society, no military catastrophe has occurred. Ukraine can win back at least a very significant part of the territory, he said. I see a huge danger in ending the war at random. Many military officials were convinced that if a peace deal was struck, Putin would use the lull in fighting only to re-equip the Russian military and then invade again. Others said the sacrifices of their fallen comrades would have been in vain if Ukraine had simply agreed to hand over territory to Russia. Ivan Panchenko, a 42-year-old veteran, said he would oppose any plan that would involve surrendering Ukrainian territory. Russia has violated dozens of international treaties over the last 30 years. An agreement with them is worthless, he said. If we want peace that will last, we need to hurt them as much as possible. At the same time, although polls show the general public remains skeptical about deals with Putin, many, especially young people, are willing to accept even unwinnable peace terms to stop the war. Anna Pranina from Zaporozhye says she began to reconsider the possibility of negotiations after last year's counter-offensive. Now that her husband is fighting, she is ready to give up all the territory that Russia now occupies in exchange for peace. At the same time as Vladimir Dubovik, director of the Center for International Studies notes a change in public opinion will give President Vladimir Zelensky the opportunity to conclude some kind of deal. The fact that people seem more willing to negotiate with Russia is a big chance, Dubovik said, but he added that any ceasefire would carry significant political risk. Many Ukrainians would probably see it as a bad deal. Many soldiers fighting in the East say a barrier has formed between those fighting and residents of the country's major cities who are oblivious to the war. The government has created conditions where those who are truly motivated will not agree to agreements that give up territory. But those who are not fighting will make decisions. It is painful, says one of the soldiers. In Northern California, a fire measuring less than a square mile started Sunday and burned at least 30 homes and commercial buildings and destroyed 40 to 50 vehicles in Clear Lake City, 110 miles north of San Francisco, officials said. Roughly 4,000 people were forced to evacuate by the Boyles Fire, which was about 10% contained Monday morning. In Southern California, the so-called Line Fire threatened some 36,000 home and commercial structures as it burned along the edge of the San Bernardino National Forest, about 65 miles east of Los Angeles, including in the community of Running Springs. As of Monday morning, the blaze had charred about 32 square miles of grass and brush and blanketed the area with a thick cloud of dark smoke. It was 3% contained. 